Okay, so we're gonna be explaining the ultimate Rayman Iceberg. I streamed my ultimate Rayman Iceberg, and uh, this is the video that I made out of it. So if I talk weird at some point, it's because this was originally streamed, and I've cut this to be more bearable, so you don't have to like put up with my. But yeah, I have made the ultimate Rayman Iceberg. I don't use that word lightly. Though this iceberg is based, no, not based on, but there are some shared entries with previously existing icebergs out there. So this one iceberg made by the Reddit user Hackerman, that I actually streamed myself going through some years back, but it was just like a, a, a joke, a shit take, a piss take, so to speak. And then there exists another iceberg made by uh, Rayman Universe, this one, where a couple of the entries on the Ultimate Iceberg come from this. And thank you to Rayman Universe for actually explaining some of the entries. So that's, uh, that's the thing there. Also, I should mention that even though this iceberg has upwards to like 150 entries, I probably still missed something, or I'm getting facts wrong. So if you're in the chat right now, feel free to jump in at any moment and like correct me. And on YouTube, when this reaches YouTube, feel free to comment uh, your additions and corrections and I will make a pinned comment. So here's my iceberg. Holy. Look at this. <laughs> it only contains five layers, but I think that's, uh, that's good. Oh yeah, I should also mention that this iceberg won't contain fandom stuff. Only, like, informational tidbits, easter eggs and whatnot from uh, the games themselves. So I won't be talking about your fan games or, uh, you know, fandom stuff in general. Before we proceed, I should also mention that uh, I tried to put these entries in like a logical order. But it's hard, you know, I'm a hardcore Rayman fan, so sometimes it's hard to judge what's actually known and what isn't. So, some entries that are below should probably be on layer 1 or 2, according to other people. But it's not that serious. So, alright, I think we should begin with uh, layer 1. Rayman merchandise. Now, this is uh, like a combinational entry of a bunch of merchandise products that Rayman has. Because Rayman has had a lot of merchandise over the years, and uh, it's not really that interesting. They don't merit like an own entry, so I just bundled all of them uh, together. There's a few exceptions, but we'll get to those later on. So we have um, uh, Rayman Curiously Strong Reviews for Rayman 2 The Great Escape. Is this a food product? It's a tin, though I don't know what was inside of said tin. Maybe cocaine or something? We have a flask for Rayman 3. We have uh, the Rayman 2 sitting against a Bosch statue. Rayman 3 sitting on a mushroom statue. That's a classic. There's actually two variants of this one. The other one was released with the press kit and the other one was released by M6 Interactive, I think. <laughs> we have the Bunny Gonzalez figurine. We have Rayman Pogs, or I think the official name is Cracks, because they're like cardboard. And then we have a Rayman Watch, we have a Rayman Stamp, Rayman Cap, Rayman Radio, another Rayman Watch, uh, different controllers, this one specifically is from the educational games, but there's a, there's a whole lot of Rayman controllers. We have the life-sized uh, Leptus statue, we have a earring? I don't really know what this is. It says the live Rayman show, but that tells me nothing. We have the Rayman U2s, Rayman 3 mug, Rayman Legends Steelbook, the beach ball, life-sized Rayman uh, surfboards that were made for a charity event, I think. Rayman 2 yo-yos, the Ubisoft store Rayman shirts that no one should buy, Rayman Advance promotional Super Bowl, Rayman Origins pin, pencils, punching bags, Rayman Advance uh, stickers, Rayman t-shirt, school bag, uh, special anniversary like medallions, original stickers, coin purse, keychain, another keychain, a slinky dinky toy, headphones, uh, hoodlum plushie, 
Yeah, here's some more of the controllers. Another watch. Rayman <laughs> on a cloud figurine. The big life-sized Rayman plushie. Rayman 3 Rubik's Cube. Phone cases. You get the idea. There's, there's a lot. Rayman has had a lot of merchandise over the years. The Rayman TV series. The Rayman TV series was an animated cartoon made after Rayman 2's success. Alright, so Rayman and his friends Bettina, Cookie, Flips and Lackmack get into silly antics trying to evade the claw of law. And the only returning character aside from Rayman is Admiral, Admiral Razorbeard. And for some reason he's like a pussy in uh, Rigatoni's circus or something. Only four episodes were ever uh, produced, even though the show was planned to be a full, like, 24-episode series. Brawlhalla. Brawlhalla is a game published by Ubisoft and developed by... Who? <laughs> it's developed by Blue Mammoth Games, and it's like a Super Smash Bros. type game where you fight characters with other characters. And Rayman is in it. Uh, Globox and Barbara are also in it. Rayman Dictees. Rayman Dictees was one of the more obscure educational Rayman games. And the plot revolves around Rayman just chilling. And some weird human character shows up and tells him to save other human characters who have been frozen. I don't know. And there's like a freaking telebox machine he has. To Yo, this is this. Is I hate this game. Rayman's height. According to an interview with Michel Ancel, Rayman is roughly 1.6 meters tall. He's also roughly this size whenever he appears with humans in early commercials. Is he though? I think he's slightly smaller. But yeah, Rayman's official height is apparently 1.6 meters tall. Rayman Uno. Rayman was released as like a skin for the web Uno game developed by Ubisoft. You can still purchase this on Steam actually. Rayman in Smash Bros. So, Rayman actually never made it into Super Smash Bros. But a trophy of him exists in the Wii U version of the game. This is his final trophy model in the game. But there also exists an early unused variant of this model, which was shown off in a trailer. And it's this. And it's like... Really f disgusting, so I'm glad they changed it to this. It's, it's slightly better. And Rayman is also a spirit in uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So naturally, because Rayman was popular, he has had multiple commercials in the past. Once again, they're not really special, uh, they don't really have names, so it's not worth separating them into different categories or entries. So instead, I'm just gonna like show most of the popular ones here. So first we have uh, the commercial where Rayman is getting interviewed. Then we have the one where uh, people turn into, like, Rayman creature freaks. Then we have the iconic Man Called Ray commercials. And then we have this for Rayman M. Rayman 3 has had multiple ads, but I think the most well-known one is this one. 2D Rayman 2. As most of you probably know already, Rayman 2 was originally conceived as a 2D game instead of a 3D game. And it would have been more akin to Rayman 1. And over the years, some uh, prototype pictures has uh, like been revealed. As well as their like a playable prototype of the game existing in the PS1 version of Rayman 2. Rayman's Training. Rayman's Training is a little short anima animated film of Rayman fighting a sentient punching bag. And this animation was lost media for the longest time before it was finally found on the disc of a Beyond Good and Evil like prototype. Oh, yeah, one thing to point out is that this version actually lacks any music and sound. And I don't know if it's known that it should have had music, but probably. It was originally shown off at like a Ubisoft French animation film festival, as far as I know. So most likely it did have music and sound effects. Mr. Dark's Chimera. So in Rayman 1, in the final boss, 
instead of fighting Mr. Dark face to face, you're instead pit against uh, like amalgamations that consist of uh, previously fought bosses. And there is some debate in the community if this is Mr. Dark actually conjuring up these monsters or if it's Mr. Dark transforming into these monsters. Uh, in my opinion, there's more evidence to suggest it's actually Mr. Dark transforming himself. Because in the boss fight, the icon remains as Mr. Dark, and every piece of old concept art shows Mr. Dark transforming instead of him spawning monsters. PlayStation Classic. Rayman is featured on the PlayStation Classic mini console. Uh, the PAL version, to be specific. Rayman cameos and crossovers. So, over the years, Rayman has been featured in multiple cameos and crossovers. And once again, I did not separate these into different uh, entries because they are very, like, minimal. But we're gonna go through them here. Uh, yeah, thank you, Ike, for suggesting a lot of these. In no particular order we have. Rayman Apparel in Oddballers. Rayman on the billboard for... What's the brand called? Orange? Promoting their 4G connectivity. Rayman on the bed sheets in uh, Vibe the Time Quest game. Rayman as a playable character in Idol Miner Tycoon. Rayman decals in Monster Jam. Official Rayman skins in uh, Minecraft. A Rayman weapon in... Uh, what's it? Uh, Prince of Persia, Warrior, Warrior Within. Rayman themed enemy in Asterix and Obelix XXL 2. Rayman is a playable character in Soul Hunters. Scary Rayman skins in Trials Fusion. Rayman car decals in The Crew. Bzzzt from uh, Rayman 1 in Beyond Good and Evil. Rayman themed avatars in uh, Just Dance. Rayman Fist and other skins in Grotopia. Rayman Easter egg in Splinter Cells inside uh, like a vending machine. Rayman promoting the soft drink Oasis or whatever. A mobile game Something Dragons <laughs> had the Rayman Legends Dragons. This. And this one featured, and they actually got the names for the first time ever. This one being called Grunderbite, and this one being called Sea Breather. Raymond was also advertising like a plane or something <laughs> at one point. <laughs> there he is. Tonic Trouble. So Tonic Trouble was a 3D platformer akin to Raymond 2 that was released before it. According to developer interviews, the game was made as a first draft slash test before tackling Rayman in 3D. This is a fact, it's talked about in the Rayman history book. Rayman makes two cameo appearances in Tonic Trouble, or at least one. In the end credits you can see a character dressed up as Rayman, and in the first level you can see someone splatted against a wall, but it doesn't really look like Rayman. I don't know, but yeah, definitely at least one Rayman appearance. Glowbox's children. According to the lore of Rayman 2, Glowbox has over 650 kids. Most of them are blue or pink, like uh, Glowbox and Uglet. But there's a handful of unique individuals who are uh, playable characters in the mini games of the Dreamcast version of Rayman 2. Rayman Brain Games. Rayman Brain Games is an educational title that's uh, built on the engine of uh, Rayman 1. There's a whole lot of these, I'm gonna bundle them all together in this single entry, because Rayman Brain Games is the most well-known one. But there's like, Rayman teaches you different languages, Rayman teaches you math problems, Rayman teaches you spelling. There's a huge array of these uh, learning games, but uh, Rayman Brain Games is like the most well-known one. Man Called Ray. So Man Called Ray, I already mentioned this earlier in the commercials, but the Man Called Ray, I would argue, is the most iconic and well-known piece of Rayman commercial. And the man who portrays Ray is an actor and comedian called Harris Fellman, who's still doing work today under the name Funny Bold Guy. He was actually found by the Rayman community some years back. Rayman Species. So according to Rayman Origins, or at least the trailer for Rayman Origins, Rayman species is called a thingamajig. But before that, in Rayman 1, there existed other people uh, of Rayman species. And they weren't given a name, you know, there was a Teresa, there was a musician, his family, and all these other characters. Rayman 2 portrayed Rayman as a special character. No other one of Rayman species existed. In Rayman 3, this was the same. 
in Rayman Origins and Legends, I should say Legends because Origins only had Raymans as a different skin. In Rayman Legends, though, the game treats the other Rayman characters as like the Rayman skins as their own characters, and that's <laughs> takes away from the speciality of Rayman. The origin of Rayman's name. So this one is pretty well known, but according to Michel Ansel, Rayman is named after a ray tracing software Ubisoft was using at the time of the development of the first game. I wonder what that software is though. H has anyone like ever found out what is this ray tracing software they were using? Rayman Kart. Rayman Kart is a Mario Kart ripoff featuring Rayman made for old Nokia phones. Is there even anything else to say about this? It's really crusty. You can look at some footage here. <laughs> Rayman fan page. So I know I said no fandom stuff on this iceberg, but this is one of the only exceptions because Rayman fan page is probably the most well known and oldest Rayman fan sites out there. And the reason why I'm including it here is because the site is still up and many of us spent hours on that website as a kid just clicking links, going from pages to pages, because the site really has this, like, whimsical magic to it. I'm sure many of uh, old school Rayman fans can relate. Sex Bomb. So, there exists an uh, animation... <laughs> there exists an animation of Rayman singing the song Sex Bomb by Tom Jones. The version Rayman sings is performed by Max Rabe. Okay, based on the song by Tom Jones. The animation has been featured in the community for the longest time, and it's one of the most well-known memes. It wasn't until uh, very recently where it was found out that the animation was actually a test animation made for one of the many cancelled Rayman 4s. Snoop Dogg. So Snoop Dogg is a famous uh, songwriter and rap artist, I'm pretty sure, and he was featured in a commercial promoting Rayman Legends' ports to the next gen John next next gen consoles, next gen consoles like uh, Xbox One and uh, PlayStation uh, Four, and in the commercials he gets sucked into Rayman's world. McDonald's figurines. So earlier we had an entry for uh, Rayman merchandise, but I think this one deserves its own spot because I think this is the most iconic piece of Rayman merchandise, the McDonald's figurines. Released uh, during Rayman 2 hype, French McDonald's gave away figurines with their Happy Meals. They used to be pretty rare, but nowadays the eBay is littered with them, though they go for uh, ridiculously high prices and I suggest no one to actually pay that much for them. Rayman 4. So Rayman 4 is the fourth installment in the series that was never released. There have been multiple different iterations of the conceptual Rayman 4, of which the most notable versions are Rayman 4 by Phoenix Interactive and Rayman 4 Rayman uh, Raving Rabbits, before being turned into a minigame collection. Most of what we know of Phoenix Interactive's Rayman 4 is through leaked concept arts from over the years. The game is also mentioned and talked about in the Rayman history book, and the plot would have revolved around Rayman, partaking in a boot camp of sorts for video game heroes. Dark Rayman would have also appeared and been like a, like a glitch in the Matrix or like in the game, because the game would have been self-aware in some way that it exists in a video game or something like that. There's a lot of story details that are still like contested by the fandom, so we are not gonna dig too deep into any specific version of Rayman 4 here. There's claims that there's more Rayman 4s out there, and then there's uh, different different story details for Phoenix Interactive's Rayman 4. So we're not gonna like dwell in it for too long. Another version of Rayman 4 was being worked on by Ubisoft Montpellier before being turned into a minigame collection, Rayman Raving Rabbits. The game would have also been a 3D platformer, where you control Rayman in a more open environment, infiltrate rapid bases, free your friends from cages, and uh, ride different creatures. Unlike Phoenix Interactive's Rayman 4, uh, some prototype builds of this version of the game have actually leaked. That's where we got most of our information from. The leaked prototypes for Rayman Raving Rabbits also feature a bunch of Unused story tidbits like Rayman's girlfriend Simone and Andre's girlfriend fairy Monique. Alright, that's layer one. Time for layer two. 
this SNES prototype. So it is somewhat of a common knowledge at this point that Rayman originally started development for uh, the Super Nintendo. Some footage of this version exists from magazine articles and a ROM of this build was also leaked by Michel Ansel himself. And the ROM is actually playable, though it doesn't contain a lot of stuff. It's just a single like area. I should also mention that the SNES prototype had co-op and the co-op never made it to the final game. Candy Chateau in Atari Jaguar. So the Atari Jaguar version of Rayman 1 contains a bunch of differences compared to the other versions. But one of the most uh, like iconic differences is that Candy Chateau is completely different. It lacks the pan sliding section and dark Rayman section, and those are replaced by completely new levels, which use objects that are not used in any other version. Aside from Rayman Designer, of course. Episodic Rayman Origins. When Rayman Origins was first announced, it was said that the game would be an episodic title, though this was later changed and the game was released as a one whole package. Probably because Ubisoft realized it would be a bad idea to release the game <laughs> episodically. It, episodic titles were also like a fad at the time. Football mascot. Rayman was a football mascot for the French team in football World Cup. The year is a mystery, I do not remember and I do not care about football, but he was there, he was the official mascot. This turned out to be an April Fool's joke. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't, couldn't keep a straight face. Space Mama is dead. According to the manual of Rayman 3, it is stated that one of uh, Razov's ancestors has killed Space Mama as part of a hunting ritual. Here it's cool. In the cancelled story draft for Rayman 1, the idea was that the game would take place inside a computer and the world would have been called Here It's Cool. The General. The General is a character from Rayman 2 who appears in one of the final cutscenes selling Razorbeard, the Grolgoth. This character is actually directly ripped from Tonic Trouble, where he appears in the opening cinematic, I don't know, spanking Ed or something. Ed is dead. A skeleton of Ed from Tonic Trouble can be seen in one of the cutscenes for uh, Rayman Arena, on the background just hanging there. Rayman 2 GBA. We have Rayman 3 for GBA, but that game initially started development as Rayman 2 for GBA. It's pretty evident when you look at all the similarities and story progression of the game, especially with the Robo Pirates. But early prototypes showcase even more proof that it started development as Rayman 2. Rayman and the Moldies. So this is a Rayman cartoon that was announced in uh, some years back that would have featured Rayman as a baby and some other ball-shaped characters apparently called the Moldies. According to the directors of this show, it never got the green light and it was like cancelled before it even entered full production. Rayman 2 PS1. Not really sure if this would like require its own entry, but I like to include it here anyway because uh, maybe not many people have played this or known about this. Rayman 2 for PS1 has multiple differences with the other versions. It has uh, different levels, a lot of cut levels, there's anti tunes from Rayman 1, the boss fight, the final boss is different, it has the 2D Rayman prototype in it. Apparently the game is based on an earlier build of the game, which explains all these differences. Rayman sound effects. So this is more of a like a like a funny little thing, but did you know that every Rayman sound effect is a stock sound effect? For Rayman 1, 2 and 3. For 2 and 3, no, not every, but uh, most of them are. I would argue that 90 to 95% of all sound effects for the first three games are stock sound effects. For the first one, definitely all of them, though, except the dialogue pieces for the PC version. Rayman Garden. Rayman Garden is an obscure mobile game featuring Rayman, where you control Rayman's head in a maze, and you must like memorize the maze layout and collect things while Dark Rayman chases you. The game only ever came pre-installed with the Mitsubishi Trium Eclipse phones. Lee in Rayman 3. According to old story concepts, Lee was actually supposed to be featured in Rayman 3, and an old like render test of her actually exists. Oh, and a statue of her is also featured in as an Easter egg in the game. Alice Manse. According to the scrapped Rayman Origins story bits, 
the magician was originally supposed to be called Alice Manse. Like, that was his real name, and the magician would have been his title. Apparently the name is uh, Pig Latin for Salesman. Begoniac's boss music. In Rayman 3, when you fight Begoniax, she does not have an exclusive boss music track, except for the PS2 version. And GameCube. 100% in Rayman Raving Rabbits is impossible to get. So, due to a scoring glitch in the game, reaching 100% is actually impossible. The last challenge in the game, that gives you 10,000 points, unlocks at 174,000 points, and there are 183,000 maximum points in the game. That's why the Globox kids never got saved. Rayman 4 GPA. So Rayman Raving Rabbids received a port for the GPA. It wasn't really a port, it was a completely different game, a 2D platformer instead of a minigame collection. And uh, this actually started as a port of the Rayman 4 made by Phoenix Interactive. And we have a bunch of proof because uh, reverse engineering attempts show a bunch of like uh, early enemies and sprites that reference the concept art of Phoenix Rayman 4. There's the skins as well as some enemies that were shown off in concept art. 2D Madness. 2D Madness is a minigame in Rayman 3 that you unlock with a certain point threshold or in the GameCube version if you connect the Game Boy Advance game to your GameCube. It's a 2D platformer segment that uses graphics from Rayman 1. Music mode. In Rayman M, if you enter a specific cheat, you can activate what is known as the music mode. This mode plays a crazy a cappella track apparently performed by the music team of the game. Music mode song is also in Rayman Arena and plays where you're frozen by another player. Rayman's pants. So Rayman doesn't have legs, so he iconically doesn't wear any pants. He only wears a bodysuit or a shirt of sorts. But for some reason, on some of the cover art for Rayman Raving Rabbids, Rayman is seen wearing pants. You can also equip him with pants in the game itself. My personal theory is that since this game is from the era of pants, you know, where everyone was wearing pants all of a sudden, they also wanted to give Rayman pants. Sam is dead. In Rayman 3 in Razov's mansion, we can see a statue that looks like Sam. It is not confirmed if it is Sam, or just something of his, uh, someone else of his species. But generally it is uh, assumed that it is Sam. Rayman 1 scrapped content. So over the years a bunch of uh, scrapped content from Rayman 1 has been revealed to the world through magazine articles, leaked prototypes and whatnot. I, I kind of just wanted to include this here to mention it and maybe show some pictures on screen right here. But, generally speaking, I could make an entire dedicated Rayman 1 iceberg. Maybe I will, actually, maybe I will. Lee in Rayman M. According to old concept art and whatnot, Lee was originally supposed to be a playable character in Rayman M, but was later replaced by Tilly. You, we can actually see Lee on the back cover of uh, one of the versions of Rayman 2, I think it's the PS2 version. But yeah, she's there. Rayman is afraid of snails. According to the Royal We It's Good To Be The King song, Rayman is afraid of snails. Rayman Flash Games. So Rayman has had multiple Flash games back in the day. Some of the more notable Flash games being Rayman Web Based, which is a really crusty like port, quote unquote port, of uh, the first level of Rayman made in Flash. Rayman Game Boy Color, which is a similar like quote unquote port of the Game Boy Color version made in Flash. Rayman vs. Uh, Calcut, which is like a word puzzle game where the player has to quickly type out words on screen to save uh, baby glow boxes. Rayman 3 The Shooting Test, which was a Rayman 3 themed shooting gallery. Rayman Slap, Fap and Go, which is a Rayman Origins themed how far can you shoot kind of game. Glowbox 2001, where you shoot glow boxes in England. Scops in Dream Forest. On the back of the other Jaguar box of Rayman 1, there is a picture that shows Scops in the Dream Forest. And the reason why this has its own entry is because I'm sure I'm not the only one that got fooled by this picture as a kid. Kid me genuinely thought there's a secret level or something that, uh, that would have like a Scops fight in the Dream Forest. Obviously this is not the case. So whatever this picture is, picture of an early prototype, uh, a fake screenshot, who knows. Teensy Highway Easter Eggs. In the Teensy Highway levels in Rayman 3, there's a couple of Easter Eggs that can be seen on the background. First, there's the Star Trek ship. 
uh, USS Enterprise, I think it's called. And then in another level you can see a screenshot of Rayman 1. Rayman Zone magazine. After the release of Rayman 3, a magazine called Rayman Zone was released, uh, but only one issue was released physically. I have it, and you can look at it here. Hands Down. Rayman had its own little uh, four-page one-off comic called Hands Down. The comic takes place in the setting of Rayman 2 and features Rayman fighting the Robo Pirates. 1000th Yellow Lum. According to the lore of Rayman 2, once the heart of the world is destroyed by the pirates, it splits into 1000 individual yellow lumps, and Rayman is tasked with collecting them all. However, during a cutscene, Razorbeard eats the 1000th yellow lump, actually reducing the counter by one for the rest of the game. Despite this, you can still find the 1000th lump as an easter egg in most versions of Rayman 2. In the original version, it can be found near the end of the Tomb of the Ancients from a secret passageway where you must fight some Robopirates and other enemies to acquire it. In Rayman Revolution, the Yellow Lama can be found from the same chest you get the Lama Raider from after defeating Clark. In the PlayStation 1 version, the 1000 Yellow Lama doesn't appear, and during the cutscene, Razorbeard eats a Red Lama instead. The 3DS version of the game has the same secret location, but due to a bug with the spider web not being bouncy, uh, you can't reach it normally without damage boosting. The 1000 Yellow Lama can also be found in the Game Boy version of Rayman 3 after you collect all 50 cages, 999 lumps, and beat the final challenge level. Raymanian. Raymanian is the original language the characters speak in Rayman 2. The language is also named One Day by a Rayman series timeline that was made to commemorate Rayman's 20th anniversary. In Rayman Origins, the characters speak Pig Latin, Oopy Doopy, or other stupid word puns instead of Raymanian. I gotta add that spice, you know. Every now and then when I'm talking about Rayman, I gotta add words like stupid and like bad, worst version or best version. That's like the spice that gets people running. Rayman M Glowbox Easter Egg. In Rayman M, in the level 1000 Waterfalls, you can find Glowbox chilling on the beach if you take a detour through some bushes. Last Supper. So in Rayman 3, in the Hoodlum Headquarters level, if you go through a gap in the wall, you can find the Last Supper painting made out of the Robopirate models from Rayman 2, where Razorbeard is Jesus Christus. Everybody Loves Rayman. Everybody Loves Rayman was the name of a little animated sketch featured in the Mad TV show that parodies the sitcom series Everybody Loves Raymond. It features Rayman as the main character, being, being obnoxious, and his brother being, being Globox, and uh, Betty La is the wife, and Mr. Dark is also there or something. <coughs> it's good to be the king. To promote Rayman 2, Ubisoft teamed up with Sony Music Media and the French pop group known as Royal V to produce a song about Rayman. The single was released on both CD and vinyl. Rayman Origins unused subtitles. In the PS Vita version of Rayman Origins, some subtitles regarding the secret murals were found that actually explain what's going on, instead of just uh, leaving it up for interpretation. But these strings are not used in the actual game itself. Japanese colors. For the Japanese version of Rayman 2, many of the characters received a different color palette. Rayman's body was blue, Clark's jacket was green, Lee's bodysuit was like a white lilac, uh, Polokus's hat was red, or was it Yano? Either way, a bunch of the characters uh, received like a little overhaul to make them maybe more cute, I guess? Rayman's limbs. So, Rayman's most iconic feature is that he has no limbs. But originally, Rayman was conceived to have limbs. But they were quickly cut due to console limitations and the desire to have more smooth animation. There exists two official pictures of Rayman with limbs. One that was made for an old document, and one that was posted on April Fools on the Rayman Legends Facebook. Rayman in ice. <laughs> During the <laughs> During the height of Super Smash Bros Ultimate's hype, some people claimed to see Rayman's model, <laughs> or at least something that resembles his model inside an ice spike in the battlefield stage. <laughs> this led to a theory slash running joke in the fandom that Rayman would burst out of the ice in his <laughs> fighter reveal trailer. This never ended up happening. <laughs> oh, this is so f funny. <laughs> Free him. Oh.
Rayman Amiibo. So this doesn't necessarily mean Amiibos, but one leaked insider trailer, I guess, of Rayman Legends shows people putting like a Rabbids figurine and a Heart figurine on the Wii U gamepad, and they would like affect the game itself. Though it was later said by one of the devs that this was never a, an intended feature in the game, just a, a joke trailer they made to make fun of the Toys to Life games that were popular at the time. Later Ubisoft would make a Toys to Life game called Starling Battle for Atlas and it would flop tremendously. Also, in the files for Super Mario Maker for 3DS, Rayman is actually mentioned in the names for the Amiibo figurines, though an official Rayman Amiibo was never released. Enter the New Hero. Enter the New Hero is another uh, short comic featuring Rayman. This comic was featured in the monthly Koro Koro ma magazine to promote Rayman 2, to get uh, the Japanese audience more accustomed with Rayman and his uh, moves and whatnot. Rayman 2's bad ending. In Rayman 2, when you reach uh, the Cave of Bad Dreams, in most versions you are given a choice. You can either choose the elixir to save your friend Clark, or the gold. If you choose the gold, the game cuts to a shot of Rayman chilling on a beach, on a small island, and he's like fat. And apparently he gave up on saving the world, and that's the bad ending of the game. Rayman 4 Sunshine of Trip. Rayman 4 Sunshine of Trip is the most well-known and maybe even the only proper, quote-unquote proper, Rayman bootleg. It was for uh, the Game Boy, and it was made by the company Syntax. Menezes. Menezes is a minigame in Rayman 2, where you use other letters to shoot up other letters. The game was in the PC version and the Nintendo 64 versions, unlockable via various cheats, but in the Dreamcast version it was available as a downloadable bonus. And that's the end of layer 2. So now we are on to layer 3. Drawn to life. Rayman was featured as one of the base playable characters in an early build for the game Drawn to Life from 2007. People could use this as a base to draw their own character. Fight the virus. Fight the virus is a phrase seen in the game over screen of Rayman 1. The phrase harkens back to the early development of Rayman 1, when Mr. Dark was still supposed to be a computer virus. The phrase can be seen repeated in early concept art and the SNES prototype, written on the walls like graffiti. It's not a reference to coronavirus in Rayman Redemption. Catch em all! Catch em all is a scrapped minigame from Rayman Legends, where the player would have used the Wii U gamepad touchscreen to move little, like, orb characters from one basket to another. This minigame was actually shown off at E3 2012, but never made it into the final game. Unused maps of this mode can still be found in the PS Vita version of the game. Bald Electoons. Electoons reappear in Rayman Mini, but for some reason they don't have any hair and they're completely bald, even in the game files. Rayman 3 for PS1. Okay, this title name is uh, misleading on purpose. Rayman 3 was never released on PS1, but this talks about the cheat code in the PS2 version of the game that activates crusty graphics that make the game look more PS1-like. Rayman 3 Aquatic World. Rayman 3 has a lot of scrapped worlds, concepts and other things, but one of the most known ones is the Aquatic World, which would have been an underwater world featuring washing machines and hoodlums taking advantage of the world's oceans to wash their uh, dirty rags. Rayman Origins Scrapped Story Rayman Origins was originally supposed to have a more prominent story. Unused strings and the entire script have been found from the game files over the years. I'm gonna directly quote Raywiki here. In this scrapped scenario, the magician's real name would have been Alice Mansey. He was bullied and ostracized by the other teenies at magic school for his poor magical abilities. Although he helped Rayman to overcome Mr. Dark in the original game, he secretly admired the villain's dark and mysterious nature, and wanted to emulate him. He also ended up developing a hatred for the Bubble Dreamer, whose nightmares had repeatedly overcome the Glade of Dreams and were a constant threat to its inhabitants. The magician concocted a plan. He hid a microphone in the snoring tree so that the hero snoring would irritate and ultimately start a war with the inhabitants of the Livid Dead. Although the microphone, disguised as a flower, can still be seen in the game itself, it is never made clear who placed it there. 
Throughout the game, the Magician pretends that he is still friends with the heroes, allowing him to collect llamas from them in exchange for electoons, which they can use to reach new areas. In the scrapped plot, he used these llamas to power his mechas, gigantic machines which he was building to take over the Glade of Dreams, imposing order and eliminating the chaos of Bubble Dreamers' nightmares. So this story is uh, funny, because the final game kinda follows this, though the story is never explained in the game itself. Yeah, not much in the final game contradicts this story, but it's scrapped in the sense that they don't they don't tell the story in the game. Rayman 3 scrapped story. According to scrapped plot details found from the files of Rayman 3 HD and early demon discs, Rayman 3 originally had a much darker story akin to Rayman 2. Characters like Murphy, Clark and Lee would have returned, and Rayman would have been tasked with finding special silver lumps from across the world. The devs thought that the game was a bit too dark, so they tried to lighten the mood by turning the humor to the maximum. There's porn in the game. In an interview regarding the development of Rayman 2, Michel Ansel has told a story of how one of the co-developers thought a specific spiky tentacle animation where a tentacle was going in and out between two other tentacles looked very sexual and apparently exclaimed out loud, there's porn in the game, Ansel. Apparently, there wasn't enough time to change this animation, so it's still visible in the final game if you know where to look. 2D Nightmare 2D Nightmare is an unlockable bonus level in Rayman 3, just like 2D Madness, but due to a bug in the Game Boy Advance version, you can't unlock it without cheats. This minigame was kind of like an urban legend for the longest time back in the day, until reverse engineering efforts and asset ripping proved its existence. The CPA engine, CPA standing for Common Programming Architecture, also known as the Open Space Engine, is the name of the engine Rayman 2 and Tonic Trouble use. A number of other games were also developed with this engine, most notably some Disney games like Donald Duck Quack Attack, Disney's Dinosaurs and later Rayman games like Rayman M, Rayman 3 and even Rayman Raving Rabbits for the Nintendo DS. Knowledge of the World the Knowledge of the World is a series of texts which give important info regarding the lore of Rayman 2. They can be obtained by collecting yellow lumps, but are completely omitted from the PlayStation and PlayStation 2 versions of the game. Mechanical Sam Based on old renders, Sam was apparently originally more mechanical looking. Even though the actual model for this more mechanical looking Sam isn't included in the final game, some remains of it were found in the PS1 version of Rayman 2. Some fitting textures were also included, and when they're combined, this is what you get! Rayman Forever Virus Multiple versions of Rayman 1 expansions, like Rayman Forever, contain files which were infected by a CIH Trojan virus. The virus was neutralized at some point before the files were put on the disk, and even if it was active, it wouldn't really be a problem today. Funnily enough, the GOG version of Rayman Forever has some of these infected files. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do want to stress that the files aren't dangerous. If you play Rayman Forever from GOG today, you are not in danger. Rayman Origins scrapped content. Since going through a turbulent development history, Rayman Origins has a lot of unused content. Some of the most notable things are the enemies, like the giant ants, fish and other creatures, as well as the nymphs. Most of the enemies were seen one way or another in early trailers, or the Dale Bubble blog posts, but they didn't make it into the final game. And regarding the scrapped nymph, here's a personal theory of mine. Since she wears kind of like an uh, air attendant style of clothing, my theory is that she was originally supposed to be the nymph of moody clouds, like the sky world, before the sky world was turned into whatever the Teens and Magician is doing in Raven Origins. Ray Girl. So, Ray Girl is the unofficial name given to a female counterpart of Rayman's. There have been multiple different iterations of Ray Girl over the years, but none of them actually made it to the games themselves. In the SNES version of Rayman 1, the second player would have controlled a female version of Rayman with a blue body and uh, green shoes. And of course, the co op mode never made it to the final game. In the prototype of Rayman Raving Rabbits, Rayman was supposed to have a girlfriend named Simone who Rayman would have saved from the rabbits. In the PlayStation Vita version of Rayman Origins, the player can unlock secret lore tidbits, of which one actually reveals that Rayman once had a wife called Raynette. So I guess she technically made it into the game. 
<laughs> one sad. Oh, maybe I should also mention that according to the Lord Tidbits, they broke up because Raymond grew hair. She hated hair, apparently. Aglet in Raymond Origins. Thanks to unused dialogue, it is revealed that Aglet was at some point meant to be a playable character in Raymond Origins. Raymond 3 HD Quirks. Rayman 3 HD was a port of Rayman 3 for more modern uh, devices, but this version of the game is notorious for featuring multiple like glitches and game-breaking stuff. There's a bunch of graphical issues, graphicals being upside down, water flashing real quickly, and we also have a game-breaking glitch where if you exit the final stage before completing it, you hardlock the save file and you need to start again from the first level. Candy World in Rayman Fiesta Run. In the mobile game Rayman Fiesta Run, if you pay up to 5,000 lums, you can enter a secret candy-themed world. Unlike the other food worlds in Rayman Origins and Legends, this one takes a lot more inspiration from uh, Candy Chateau of Rayman 1. Yano in Rayman Origins. Even though Yano does not make an in-game appearance in Rayman Origins, he is mentioned in the manual and the official website. It is stated that he was the result of the Bubble Dreamer's first nightmare and now he harasses the land by creating dark tunes left and right. The Jade Engine. Another engine used by Ubisoft, developed for Beyond Good and Evil, and later used for uh, many other games too. Out of the Rayman series, it was used for Rayman Raving Rabbids. Edith up in Fiesta Run. <sighs> so this is another interesting one, because... Raywiki claims that she does not appear in the game, only her sprites can be found from the game files. But I vividly remember seeing her in the game, which is crazy. And I don't know if that's like scary Mandela analog effect, but... Yeah, I remember seeing Edith up with her updated Rayman Legends look in the game. Maybe next to like an update window or something like that. But yeah, she's the only fairy to ever release. Uh, I mean, get a Rayman Legends like graphical update treatment. Sonic Game Clone. One of the old Rayman Raving Rabbids mobile games, developed by Gameloft, <laughs> bears striking similarities with Sonic the Hedgehog. Rayman runs super fast, rolls into a ball and goes through loop-de-loops. I don't actually know if this is another Sonic game that just got the Rayman sprite swapped in, but yeah, it's Sonic game. Rayman 3 dub differences. So Rayman 3 was translated and dubbed into multiple languages. The languages other than French are notorious for having multiple timing errors and characters speaking over each other. Apparently some of the other languages even include actual dirty words. The Spanish dub also lacks the iconic see you in Rayman 4 line completely. Atari Jaguar Slippery Physics. So I don't really know if this deserves an entry, but I thought it's fun to mention. In the Atari Jaguar version of Rayman 1, Slippery Physics don't exist. Levels like Allegro Presto and Eraser Planes that usually revolve around Slippy Dip are altered drastically. 68 prototypes in 2024. In total, 68 prototypes uh, related to Rayman 3 GPA were released to the public. These prototypes contained a lot of unused stuff and were finally concrete evidence of how Rayman 3 GPA started development as Rayman 2 GPA. Rayman 1 for 32X and 3DO. Based on old magazine articles and promotional materials, it is known that Rayman 1 was originally also supposed to receive ports for the Sega 32X add-on and 3DO console. Some video footage of the 32X port even exists from E3 1995. These ports were cancelled and never released. Capture the flag in Rayman Advance. Thanks to reverse engineering efforts and some developer interviews, it has been revealed that a multiplayer capture the flag mode was being worked on for Rayman Advance before being scrapped. Early multiplayer maps and code related to this mode have been found. Here's a separate video by Ray Carrot, which you should watch if you're interested in the topic. Rayman Tribe and Rayman Shooting Fish. Rayman Tribe and Rayman Shooting Fish are the project names for two different projects which were later combined into one, Rayman M. Rayman Tribe would have been the racing parts, and Shooting Fish would have been the battle parts. Early concepts for both show a far more Rayman 2-esque design than what we made it into the final game. Rayman 2 Tank Controls So, early footage of Rayman 2 shows Rayman with tank controls. According uh, to developer interviews, Ubisoft was pushing for tank controls because they were uh, they were the way, they were the standard way to control 3D platformers. But Michel Ansel persisted and wanted full analog instead. And that's what we got. Rayman 2 DRM. Rayman 2 has a very notorious DRM, 
I'm sure most people or many people know of stories that kids got scared because if you had a pirated copy or something changed, a huge pirate face would jump scare you in the middle of gameplay and prevent you from uh, progressing. The game also has many more smaller tricks up its sleeve, but for those you should watch Robin's amazing video on the topic where most of this information came from anyway. I actually remember this happened to me when I streamed Rayman 2 on PC. I couldn't get past Iron Mountains because the pirate head would just keep popping back in, even though it was a legitimate copy of the game. Xowar. Xowar is a scrapped character from Rayman 3. Despite being featured in a lot of promotional material, it does not appear in the game aside from a few easter eggs. Few wanted posters of Xowar can be seen here and there, and the Tower of Leptus has a secret room with Xowar's model in it. Based on scrapped story details, Xowar would have originally been the boss of Clearleaf Forest. There are even traces of a planned minigame featuring Xowar where the player would have run away from it while Xowar tries to catch him. Kinda like Crash Bandicoot, I guess. Raymond Tree's Unused Creatures Over the years, a plethora of intriguing concept art for Raymond Tree has surfaced, showing how much planning went into the world design and its inhabitants. A lot of interesting looking creatures were planned, but only a few of them ever made it into the final game. Scrapped Hoodlums There exists a bunch of various hoodlums that never made it past concept art phases. Some of these are the small gunslinger hoodlum, Kagobinome, Scaleman, and the Siamese hoodlum as they're called. Out of all the mentioned hoodlums, only Scaleman was ever used uh, in a game. He appeared as a boss in Rayman 3 GPA. I should also take this opportunity to mention other scrapped enemies from Rayman 3, uh, like uh, the Hoover and Snorty. There we go. Though I don't think Snorty was an enemy. <laughs> Mama Hite. Mama Hite is a scrapped character from Rayman Origins, who is part of the Globox species. She also bears a lot of similarities to Big Mama, and it's theorized that in the original scrap story, she was the one to transform into Big Mama instead of Voodoo Mama. In the final game, Bubble Dreamer can still mention Mama Hite and suggest they apparently had a relationship at some point. It is also suggested that Mama Hite was the modern version of Aglet. Hence why she's called Big Mama, and she's like a pink glow box. Okay, so play Jeff. In Rayman 2, in the level Tomb of the Ancients, there exists a secret passageway that takes the player to a small campfire area where a large man can be seen playing a guitar with some baby glow boxes. This secret is normally out of reach, but you can reach it by typing play Jeff with your keyboard, or by entering a specific button combination in the console versions. So why is it named play Jeff? To directly quote RayWiki, the cheat was originally created by the developer Ritchie, real name Arnaud Guion, for the Nintendo 64 version of the game. Upon porting the game to PC, the cheat got named to Play Jeff, which was the key combination needed to access it there. Ritchie posted details about this cheat on his website back in 2002, but it wasn't discovered by the Raymer community until 2019. There he lists other cheats as well, most which appear to be named, uh, named as references to his friends. In 2020, Jeff, also known as Francois Quenek, confirmed that the person playing the guitar was in fact a depiction of himself. Raymond II's Lost Levels. Now this entry is kind of a... Kind of a not real but also real, because Rayman 2 has a lot of level geometry that never made it into the final game, and has only been featured in like pictures and early screenshots and videos. One of the more notable examples being traditional platforming segments from the Sanctuary of Water and Ice, instead of just all being sliding. Ciel. Ciel is a scrapped human character from the cancelled Phoenix Interactive Rayman 4. It is unknown what her role would have been, but concept art of her can be found in the Rayman history book. Rayman 2 Steam version. A little known fact is that Rayman 2 was officially released on Steam, but you could only get it if you pre-ordered Rayman Origins there. Let's move on to layer 4. Early Fouch boss. Early footage of Rayman 2 shows a lot of uh, gameplay differences. One of them being an early Fouch boss. Instead of running circles, where he chases you Crash Bandicoot style, he would be stationary in the middle and you'd hop around him on pillars, shooting at him. 
Red Globox. Okay, this one is gonna be a doozy. So, before it was revealed that Globox was originally red in the secret tables of Rayman Origins PS Vita version, a similar adult-sized red Globox character was seen in some old Rayman 2 related footage. The character is prominently featured in the old trailer of Rayman Adventures, and a red Globox can also be seen in one of the Rayman 2 adverts from back in the day. The character has striking similarities with Catastrox, but they're like obviously still not the same. The other one is a baby Globox, the other one is an adult Globox, who has the pirate logo like tattooed onto his belly. Also, a red adult Globox can be found from the Globox village area on the Dreamcast version of Rayman 2. There's just so many red Globoxes out there, and it's all so confusing. Who the f was this red Globox? Miss Black Bunny. After the DS version of Rayman Raving Rabbits was actually made into a Rabbits game, there still existed unused story details that were found from the game's files. The story would have featured Dark Rayman returning, trying to exact his revenge on Rayman. He wore a costume and pretended to be a character called Miss Black Bunny, and the reveal that he's actually Dark Rayman would have happened after the final boss. Rayman Prototype Plushy. During the creation of uh, Rayman 1, or after it rather, a plushy of Rayman was prototyped. An ex Ubisoft employee actually did give a copy of it to a single Rayman fan, and here it is pictured. It's, it's extremely screen click. I would love to have this Cromboli in my collection. Rayman Bubblegum. On the back of the box for the Rayman 2 Collector's Edition, a picture of Rayman Bubblegum can be seen. This was originally bundled with the Collector's Edition, though no pictures of records of it online exist. Probably because it was a food product and it was either eaten up or thrown away when the game was bought back in the day. Extra Hoodlum. For some reason, in the non-standard language versions of Rayman 3, there exists an extra hoodlum at the start of Fairy Council 3. The hoodlum is also there in the Mac release of the game for some reason. The people of Pris are a mysterious group of people who are only ever mentioned in Lee's character description from the Rayman 2 short story report 20z. It is stated that, quote, Lee is a wild and independent fairy. She dresses like the people of Pris, shares their secrets, and like Rayman, protects them from harm." End quote. People of Pris are never mentioned anywhere else. We don't know who they are, but apparently Lee dresses up like them, and Lee and Rayman protect them. Rayman Adventures. So you might be like, uh, what is Rayman Adventures doing here? It's a mobile game, but uh, I got you there! Rayman Adventures was the working title of a game that was cancelled way back. The title was later used for the mobile game, which otherwise has no relation to the cancelled title. One CGI trailer of Rayman Adventures exists, showcasing Rayman fighting the Robo Pirates from Rayman 2. Globox and a red adult Globox, once again red Globox is back, can be seen. It is unknown if Rayman Adventures is related to the cancelled Rayman 2000 game, since they're from the same time. So this whole thing is kinda muddled, in my opinion, because we just don't know. Is Rayman Adventures a game, or the TV show? Apparently some dev once mentioned that Rayman Adventures was a cancelled game, but that's all we have. Mer Denise is the internal name for Space Mama, being a reference to an actress appearing in a French washing machine commercial. Not sure which, which commercial we're talking about, but yeah. Space Mama's whole appearance is a reference to an old commercial where some old lady is advertising washing machines and swinging around a pin roll, whatever it's called. Coronavirus and chocolate. In Rayman Mini, Mr. Dark appears and can be found giving you different optional daily quests. He talks with lowly grunts like but if you isolate the sound clips and reverse them, he's saying stuff like coronavirus and chocolate in French. Hall of Doors Mysteries. The map in Rayman 2, called the Hall of Doors, contains a few interesting scrapped features. One is a connection between the Echoing Caves and the Fairy Glade. This is most likely a scrapped shortcut, since most versions of Rayman 2 have a passageway leading back to the Fairy Glade from Echoing Caves. 
another inaccessible portal exists in the waterfall behind the first level, which would have led to a scrapped level we don't know much about. There was some text that implies that the scrapped level would have been the home planet of the pirates. It's called something like, surprise, visit the pirate planet or something like that. I might remember that wrong, but that's why you should watch Robin's video on the, on the subject. Bridge. The iconic, <laughs> iconic Rayman 2 bridge texture, you know, the yellow one from the first level, has been reused and repurposed over the course of history so many times. It's used in Rayman 2 in multiple places. It's used in Rayman 3 as uh, reflexes like wings, if I remember correctly. It's used in Rayman Raving Rabbits, Rayman M. It's used like everywhere, and it's always the most like not bridge thing out there. With blood, with death. This is one of the quotes Magician can say in Rayman Brain games. And it's funny, because an otherwise kid-friendly game all of a sudden contains these quotes. It has become kind of a meme in the community. The Sanctuary of Fire and Lava and the Sanctuary of Rock and Stone. Early texts related to Rayman 2 suggest that the original Sanctuary names were Sanctuary of Fire and Lava and the Sanctuary of Rock and Stone. In retrospect, these names would have made more sense considering the elemental theming of each Sanctuary. Girlfriend Mode so, in Rayman Legends, for the Wii U, another player can take control of Murphy and just click stuff while the other player uh, runs and walks around. Internally, this co-op mode is called the Girlfriend Mode. Goddamn French. Joke Object Names In the files of Rayman 3, some assets and objects feature joke names. <laughs> These include Nicolas Cage Cage, as a cage object, and f cannon, and dog dick one, dog dick two, and dog dick three. Bog of Merc connected maps. So in Rayman 3, if you take a look at the Bog of Merc level geometry, you can see the first two maps include a copy of the other map inside of them. Some of the geometry is like older and less detailed which kind of suggests that the maps were once supposed to be a single long lever. Level, not lever. Instead of uh, separated into two. According to an old Rayman 3 guide, the level could have also been the place for a minigame where Xovar is chasing you around. Rayman 3 scrapped story. Again. I, I decided to put this entry slightly lower than the previous scrapped story, because I feel like less people know about this. So. After moving away from the darker themes of the original story draft, Rayman 3 had a way more wacky and crazy story. But even this story was altered before the final release of the game. According to this earlier version of the story, from, from the game's files, instead of destroying the heart of the world, the hoodlums were originally bank robbers and robbed the central bank. Hence why you collect gems and destroy piggy banks in the game. The Fairy Council was called the Garden of the Central Bank. Instead of breaking into the heart of the world, Andre would break into a vault called the Jackpot. Traces of this can still be found in the final game, namely with you collecting gems and the picky packs, and how the windows in the Fairy Council are shaped like gems. Rayman TV Pilot So, thanks to some concept art, which has been found over the years, we can have a glimpse at some of the early storyboards for the animated series. Rayman originally had a very different look, as well as his friends. Funnily enough, Lakmak is the only character who remained largely the same. Here we can see some, uh, some other stuff. There's f Mac. Hmm. Globber. This is my redemption, guys. This is my personal redemption. It's time to put the record straight. 
Because when I narrated that old, <laughs> old iceberg, I got this one wrong, and people were like, I love it! So here we go. Here we go. Globber can mean two things. First, it's the name of a Flash game that was available on the official Rayman 2 website. It was apparently a Frogger clone, but sadly the game was never archived and is now considered lost media. Second, according to the Rayman Zone magazine, Globber was Globox's original name, before he apparently gave it to one of his sons and renamed himself Globox after that. Stupid, I know. Rayman 4 DS Thanks to a leak that happened in 2018, we know that before being turned into a Rayman Raving Rabbids game, the game had a very different setting and story. The game would have followed Rayman as he searches for three elemental guardians and tries to restore the balance of an alternate universe while a dark guardian tries to stop him. This is a whole topic of its own, so if you guys are interested, check out this amazing video by Drooly on the subject. Rayman 2000 So Rayman 2000 was apparently the code name for a direct sequel to Rayman 2 that was briefly being worked on after the success of Rayman 2. Based on some of the concept art, the game would have featured a more urban look to it. Some of the concept art and setting were most likely repurposed for the animated series later on. And this is the whole thing. Rayman Adventures, Rayman 2000, Rayman the Animated Series concept art. It's kind of like uh, this mess. And we don't really know for sure what any of it is. But that's, uh, that's what we have so far. Blue body, yellow hoodie. So, some early... I feel like every single entry starts with me going, So, some early... <laughs> okay. Some early pictures, screenshots of Rayman 3, show Rayman with a blue body and a yellow hoodie instead of a purple body and a red hoodie. Or maybe it's a costume or an early, early design, test design, texture swap of the hoodlum power washing can, whatever power-ups. Who really knows, but yeah, early screenshots exist showing him with these colors instead. Report N20Z. So this one is interesting. Report N20Z is a series of six short blurbs of text which talk about the world of Rayman 2 before the invasion of the Robo Pirates. The texts were released on the official webpage for Rayman 2. This is also where the people of Chris stuff comes from. Rayman 1 Egypt World. In 2022, Ubisoft held an art exhibit where a lot of old concept art for their games were shown. One of these pieces was for Rayman 1 and it included a very Egypt-looking environment. Since the shape and size resembled the loading screen images of the final game, it's speculated that this was concept art for a scrapped Egypt world or sand-themed world. It's worth pointing out, though, that no other piece of concept art or anything related to any Egypt or sand-themed thing has ever been found for Rayman 1. This does not mean that an Egypt world, scrapped Egypt world, does not exist, but unless we find something, I, I highly doubt it. My personal theory is that it was just some sort of concept art for Pixar City's uh, loading screens, because especially since it was bundled in with the with the other same-sized images right here. Globox rules. So this one is funny. Uh, Globox Rules is a supposed fake cheat code for Rayman 2, found from an old magazine. The cheat code does not exist in the game. And apparently, this was one of those cheat codes that magazines would print out on purpose as fake ones, to see which webpage or other magazine like copied them without crediting them. Robot Hoodlums. So, thanks to the Rayman 3 art book, we have some uh, concept art of robotic hoodlums, and apparently one of, or the original story draft for Rayman 3, featured robots invading from outer space and trying to get the world's natural resources like wood and water and whatnot. My fair luck, Mac. Although only four episodes of Rayman animated series were ever released, there are rumors of one more being made, or at least partially finished. One of these episodes being the fifth episode called My Fair Lackmac. Only a couple of unfinished renders of the episodes can be found from an old portfolio site of one of the animators. Muse of the Poets Muse of the Poets is a character from the lore of Rayman 2. According to the Rayman 2 official guide, she was the wife of Polacus and the mother of the Teensies. She was so ashamed of the ugly Teensies 
that she supposedly hid away in the forest and was never seen again. Rayman 2 Hidden Messages In the Dreamcast version of Rayman 2, by performing different tasks in different levels, like secret button combinations, secret messages can be activated. Rayman 2 Telescopic Fist This one is uh, kind of a silly little thing. In the final version of Rayman 2, Rayman shoots magic bullets with his hands. But this wasn't always the case. Early footage of the game shows Rayman shooting out actual fists just like in Rayman 1. The actual fist model can be seen like flying. Shirtless Rayman. An unused, <laughs> an unused texture file for what seems to be a naked Rayman and shirtless Rayman was found from the files of Rayman 3 HD. The textures match the Rayman 2 model, so they were most likely meant to be used with the early design of Rayman 3. Oh dear lord, here we go. Rayman 2 back to school. Rayman 2 back to school is a supposed unreleased game from the year 2001. It is unknown what this game would have been about, but the name suggests some sort of a learning game akin to Rayman Brain games. The name of the game has been spotted only a couple of times on listings about upcoming games. And of course I will take this moment to mention the amazing fan project based on the idea that was developed as an April Fool's joke. Uh, and it completely bamboozled me. Special McDonald's figurines. Not sure if this should be this deep, but I don't know if a lot of people talk about it, so I'm gonna mention it here. So during the McDonald's figurines campaign, the Rayman sitting on the plum figurine was also released in silver and gold. Not real metals, by the way, just silver and gold colored. And there was a contest that if you found one of these rare silver or gold figurines from your bags, you would win a copy of Rayman 2 or an entire PC and a Rayman 2. The thing is, pictures of these have never surfaced ever. So it was, for the longest time, it was like considered that uh, maybe it wasn't even real. But a few years back, Pictures of the silver figurine actually surfaced on Vinted. Rayman murdering Mario. Thanks to Michele Guarne, the author of the Rayman history book, we know this picture depicting Rayman murdering Mario was made by one of the devs during the development of Rayman 2. The text roughly reads, I don't have arms, but he doesn't have a head anymore. <laughs> you also remember a picture of Rayman holding a decapitated Tilly head. I don't know about that picture, but I mean, the author of the history book said it's real. Were they lying? I even found the post where they explained how it came to be. If it actually turns out to be fake after I post this video on YouTube, please, please get in touch, original creator. That would be extremely funny. Okay, but Rayman rap. According to Michel Ancel, during the production of Rayman 1, a set of rap lyrics were written for the world map theme of the game, which was supposed to be like the hip and cool theme song of Rayman. But these lyrics have never been released to the public. In 2013, YouTube musician Dan Bull also made a rap song about Rayman to promote Rayman Legends, but this rap song has uh, nothing to do with the unrelated, uh, unreleased original one. Professor Hendrix. In the original story draft for Rayman 1, where a boy named Jimmy would get sucked into a PC, he actually had a professor uncle named Hendrix, whose lab Jimmy would enter where this sucking accident would happen. The names Jimmy and Hendrix were a reference to the musician Jimi Hendrix. Killing the Red Drummer In Rayman 1, in the final screen of Bongo Hills, there are these uh, giant enemies, giant red drummers, who you're just supposed to avoid. But you can actually kill them if you punch their head 256 times and you execute the last punch frame perfectly, the enemy dies, and the level ends. This is old code related to when the Red Drummer was supposed to be a mini-boss. Maybe kind of like the Tentacle Flower? Instead of removing the code altogether, they left it in and just increased the HP to like 256, <laughs> so people would never know this. The Seventh Cage. So, in the DSi version of Rayman 1, it's possible to find seven cages in Bongo Hills. <laughs> The seventh extra cage is placed in the fourth screen and can only be opened by replaying the level without breaking the two cages in screen four first. Hyperteensy! So in the end credits of uh, 
Rayman 3, GameCube version to be specific, if you eject and reinsert the disc, the dancing teensy will slowly start to slow down until he barely moves, and then he will start dancing super hyper speed, like... <laughs> Rayman 1 developer messages. In the Atari Jaguar version of Rayman 1, in the main menu, if the player enters specific button combinations, uh, a text showing developer messages starts to scroll at the bottom. These are all kinds of like greetings to friends and family, but there's also some weird ones. Alright, final layer time. Let me dig out some good music for this. Rayman 3 fake cheat codes. In a Polish magazine featuring Rayman 3, some cheat codes are shown which don't exist in the game. <laughs> Nor do they even make a lot of sense. The cheat codes are Kletto, Rayman Superpower, Kobot, All Levels, Lopdet, All Leptus Powers, Bill, Run Faster, and Hoodlum, Become a Hoodlum. And apparently it also has a spelling mistake in Polish, explaining the cheat. These do not exist in the game, and yeah, like mentioned, they don't make any, any sense in the context of the game. Someone just made them up. Iron Mountain's Mystery Switch. In the Dreamcast version of Rayman 2, in the level Iron Mountains, when you enter the wooden, uh, wooden door, there is a switch that opens the gate. But for some reason, you can hit the switch again, which closes the gate. And this only happens in the Dreamcast version. And it's the only switch ever to have double functionality like that. The game that never was and never happened. In 2022, composer Grant Kirkhope, who had worked on the Mario Rabbit series, said on Twitter that he had very briefly worked on some sort of a Rayman-related pitch, composing a couple of music tracks for it. The music tracks were published on his Bandcamp, titled The Game That Never Was and Never Happened. After this tweet gained a lot of attention, Grant Kirkhope quickly deleted it and the music from his Bandcamp page. Ghostbusters. Now get ready, guys. This one is insane. The Ghostbusters theme song can be for some reason found from the Rayman Classic APK file. Insane, I know. Rayman M scrapped character. Thanks to concept art shared by Matteo Cecotti, we have images of a piranha mech that didn't make it to the final game. According to them, the character didn't make the cut because of how similar the Final Henchman 1000 model was. And while we are at it, here's some other concept art for Henchman 1000 as well. Rayman 2 box art bridge. The bridge in the Rayman 2 box art is cut off at the bottom in every version except for one promotional card only found in the original Italian PC release of the game. Look, the bridge isn't cut off. The render continues. Rayman 3 HD moved wall. I swear, these entries of the final layer are so funny. In Rayman 3 HD, in the longest shortcut tree, one of the walls has been moved slightly. Here's the normal. And here's the HD. Oh my god, guys. Kevin. You're not gonna believe it. So, we know the early story story, <laughs> story draft for uh, Rayman's NES calls Rayman Jimmy, but there exists a single magazine article that calls him Kevin instead. Holy. Diablo. In Rayman Designer, the level Tip Top Tempest features the text Diablo written out by using the tiles of the game. This text is a signature used by the developer Christoph Kavlan. Cooking, 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 cooking. In the UBART editor, if you import a new texture, this is the image that's used as a placeholder while the texture is being loaded. Or alternatively, this one. And in the latest iteration of the UBART editor, which I think is Just Dance, one of them, it was replaced with this. 
Rayman's butt crack in Rayman 3. So, in Rayman 3, if you zoom really close to Rayman's buttocks, you can see a crease on his butt. For the longest time, it was theorized that this was actually uh, the shoe texture seeping in from the side, causing this crease. But it turns out this is completely fake and you just got bamboozled. But ba boy, that's the end of the iceberg! The last layer was amazing. I was afraid the last layer would have been like... <laughs> but it kind of was. <laughs> like, there's no big mysterious secrets in Rayman to talk about anyway. So... It was more of a joke, but yeah, I'm still happy with this. Like I said at the beginning, I already had 150 plus entries here. I probably missed a lot, like the freaking Rayman M, <laughs> the challenge. But if you feel like I missed something, or I got something wrong, feel free to leave a comment on the YouTube video, and I will be sure to make a, a pinned comment, uh, you know, listing them. But also, if you feel like I missed something, I don't care. We're going back. We're going back. We need to settle this right now. There's a texture seam happening there. Oh my god. Why don't you boot up the game yourself to have more clear vision? I don't have PlayStation 2 hooked up. Look in Raymap. That's... That's... Yes! We're gonna boot up Raymap and have the most HD look, up, look at Rayman's ass crack. So here we have uh, Rayman's Rayman. Let's go under here. Not that much. Wait, where am I? Okay. Okay, Rayman. Stop changing like skin. Wait, why did he turn red? Now I can't look at his pure ass. I see a slight seam there. Like there. Uh, okay, that enables and disables the animations. There we have it, guys! Oh, Rayman has a vagina! That's it? It's here in the other versions too! Okay, guys, okay. I know how to solve this. I know how to solve this. I was talking about Rayman's ass crack. And you guys were talking about Raymond's pussy. How about that? Let's uh, let's settle it like that. Thank you for tuning into the stream. I think that's good. Bullet, bullet.